Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I want to talk about Samsung DeX, what you can do and whether you can replace your computer. Personally for me, I find Samsung DeX to be extremely useful. And depending on the type of work that you do, Samsung DeX may be able to streamline your workflow significantly. Samsung DeX is quite versatile because it allows you to use your Samsung phone and tablet as a phone and tablet and you have the option to use the desktop mode with the tablet and when you connect your Samsung phone to an external display. So the other day, I was working on my itinerary for an upcoming trip and I had to track a delivery that's coming in using Google Maps and another delivery app that's only available through the Google Play Store. And I had to message people and there was a call that came in through WhatsApp and it was lunchtime, so I had to order some food as well using this food delivery app, which is only available through the Google Play Store. So that's how flexible, how versatile Samsung DeX is. It allows you not only to work, but gives you access to all those tablet apps that are available from the Google Play Store. And this is something I cannot do with Windows or Mac OS because some of these apps are not available on those desktop OS. The main downside with Samsung DeX, more specifically with Android OS, is the features you can get with the apps can be limited, especially for those apps that have the desktop version, such as Microsoft Word, so the tools and features that you can get with the tablet version of Microsoft Word is just a subset of the full features you can get with the desktop app running on Windows and Mac OS. And that's the same with Adobe Lightroom. You only get a subset of features here. And the user interface is also different from the desktop app. And another main downside is I'm a graphic designer and there are not many graphic design apps on Android, more specifically graphic design apps that can handle layout, typography, and page design. If you do not have to use desktop apps from Windows and Mac OS, I think Samsung DeX is good enough to replace a desktop or a laptop. But if you need desktop apps, if you need all the tools and features from those desktop apps, then Samsung DeX is not going to cut it, you will have to go with Mac OS or Windows. So before you go buy that Samsung phone or tablet thinking that that's going to replace your computer, I highly recommend you go to Google Play Store first and do some research on the apps that you need to use and see whether or not those apps can actually do what you think they can do. For example, with Steam from Google Play Store, you can't actually install games and play those games on Android. There are several ways to get into Samsung DeX mode. If you are using a Samsung phone, you can connect the phone to an external display using cable, or you can connect the phone wirelessly to a smart TV. If you are using a Samsung tablet, you can use Samsung DeX on the tablet itself, or you can connect the tablet to an external display with cable or wirelessly to a smart TV. So to go into Samsung DeX with this tablet, you can swipe down from the top right and tap on the Samsung DeX shortcut button there. Or if you are using a compatible keyboard, you can press the keyboard shortcut, the Android key with W to go into Samsung DeX mode and press it in to get out. For this video, I'm going to connect the tablet to this portable external display that I have on the right side. And this display will actually draw power from the tablet. So it's going to drain the battery life much faster, which is why I have to connect an additional power source to the display. If you are using a display that can output power through USB-C, it can actually charge the tablet, so that's great. So this is Samsung DeX running on the external display, and this is the tablet mode you will not be able to get an extended desktop mode, which is to say that if you have a window that is open here, it is not possible to drag this window across to the other display because there is no extended desktop mode. So that's one limitation. 
but with Samsung DeX you get two displays. If you are using a Samsung phone, obviously your other display is going to be smaller. So I have this Bluetooth keyboard that is connected and this keyboard can be used on both displays but the mouse will only work here on this display because the cursor cannot cross to the other display. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard connected, you can use this keyboard on both workspaces. For the mouse, it will only work on the Samsung DeX workspace. If you do not have a mouse, you can actually use the Samsung tablet or the phone as a touchpad. Just swipe down from the top left and choose to use your tablet as a touchpad. So now you can use this display to control the cursor on the other screen on the Samsung DeX workspace. To get out of the touchpad, you can press this cross button. Back when I was testing the Samsung S23 Ultra phone, I actually used that as a touchpad because that phone is more useful as a touchpad. But when I'm using the tablet, this tablet is going to be more useful as an external display where I can open apps. The downside is the apps that you open here cannot move over to the other workspace and vice versa. Let's look at some settings for the connection. So I have set Samsung DeX to start automatically when a video cable is connected. So if you want to connect your Samsung phone or tablet to an external display, you can select this to connect wirelessly. And if you want to connect to an external display with cable, there are two options. You can choose to mirror the tablet screen or you can use the screens separately. As mentioned earlier, there is no extended desktop mode. For scaling, you can choose screen zoom. There are only three options. Um, there is small, medium and large. And this setting will try to scale the user interface for the apps as well. So if the palettes are small and you choose a large screen zoom, the palettes will be made bigger together with the text. The resolution options you get, you can choose between 16 by 9, 16 by 10 or 21 by 9 aspect ratios. So for 16 by 9, the maximum resolution is up to 1440p. And for 16 by 10, it's up to 2560 by 1600. At the time of making this video, 4K resolution external display support is not here yet. This external display I'm using is 16 inches and the resolution is 2560 by 1600. And Samsung DeX is able to handle the scaling quite well. So the user interface and the text are scaled nicely big enough and comfortable for my eyes to see. And if you are using a touch screen, touch gestures are supported as well. As to how many fingers you can use, that will depend on the display that you have. If you use a compatible keyboard, many of the Android keyboard shortcuts can be used. So for example, if you press Android key and slash, you can see some of the shortcuts here and the shortcuts will update depending on which app is active at that time. Shown on the screen right now are the keyboard shortcuts that are supported on Samsung phones and tablets. And these are quite useful. Keyboard shortcuts can speed up your workflow quite significantly. So with a compatible keyboard, you can press the Android key to look at all the apps, or you can press Android F to search for apps. Let's search for H, press enter two times to launch it. And let's search for maps, press enter two times to launch it, press escape to close that box. And now with the apps open, you can minimize them by pressing Android D. So it will minimize all the apps. You can turn a tab to open them up again. And you can minimize the app by pressing the Android key with the arrows. You can press down. I do this when I want to resize the app. Or you can move the app left or right by pressing window, sorry, Android left or right or right. 
and you can choose another app to open by the side here. So there are many useful keyboard shortcuts. Android N for notification, Android P for the music player, Android B for the browser, Android E for email, and Android W for Samsung DeX. Some of the tablet apps will not behave like their desktop counterparts. For example, if you have YouTube loaded here and you are playing this video with Samsung Internet Browser and you switch to a different tab, that video in the background will stop playing, which is what I do not want. So to get around that, I will just open the YouTube app instead of opening youtube.com. And you can see this overlaying effect. So if you want the app to be in front all the time, you can, you can click on this pin button. And now if you go back to the other app, the other app is always behind. So YouTube is always in front. So this is a nice feature. Let's say you want to open Microsoft Word on this tablet, but it's already open on Samsung DeX. So on the tablet, you will have to open the app, choose to restart. And whatever file that's open here will actually close. So when you restart the app, it will bring you back to the home screen and you have to open that file again. The same applies when you disconnect the cable. So if you are working halfway and that file is open and you disconnect the cable, when you go back to the tablet, you are back to the home screen, you have to open that file again. The taskbar at the bottom is quite useful as well. So on the left side, this is the app page. There is the search box. This is the recent apps button, the desktop button, and the back button. And these are all the apps that are currently active. If you are using a keyboard, you can press Android key from 1 to 10 to switch between all these apps in sequence. That's the screenshot button, the volume button, the notification button, Wi-Fi, and calendar. Um, this is quite useful. And this is the main difference between Samsung DeX versus the Android layout because this will allow you to switch between apps very quickly. One downside or limitation with Samsung DeX is some of the tablet apps will not look good on a big screen because many of those tablet apps are actually designed for vertical displays. So when you have those apps on this horizontal display, they may look a bit weird, such as this app that I have here. The search box is like way too big and the text is way too big. And when I scroll down, I have huge pictures. Um, it should not work this way. So this app obviously doesn't work well here. So I will have to use this app on the Android tablet without Samsung DeX mode. Let's take a look at Amazon. So let's do Android app to search for Amazon. Amazon actually scales quite well. Uh, this is the tablet version of Amazon. Of course, you can open Amazon.com on the web browser as well to get more features, but this um, is the tablet version. The reason why I may want to use the tablet versions of certain apps is because some of the features are specific to tablet versions. And some of the apps are only available for Android and I can't find them on Windows. For example, with um, Grab, which is a ride and food app here in Singapore. Where's Grab? This app is not available on Mac OS and Windows. And this app looks fine here. It is possible to blow up the app, even if it's a vertical app to full screen. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, it doesn't look that great because this app is not designed for full screen. And for apps that, for vertical apps that you cannot blow up to full screen, you can go into the settings. Under advanced features, look for labs. 
and scroll down to the bottom and you can choose landscape view for portrait apps so this will allow you to use those vertical apps as horizontal apps but obviously the design is going to look very weird the font size the ui they are going to look like way off most of the time the main downside with samsung dex for me as a computer replacement is since i use many graphic design apps many of those apps that i use are actually not available from the google play store such as adobe photoshop adobe illustrator affinity photo affinity designer um, and many of the graphic design apps that handle typography and layout are not available from the google play store so that's the main downside for me that's the limitation of google play store so this is all i know about samsung dex it's not perfect but it does many things right features i wish samsung can implement in the future are support for 4k external displays support for extended desktop mode so that you can move one window across to the other display and back and switch between apps on either displays and also make sure the apps that are open here are kept in memory when you disconnect the cable so when you go back to samsung dex on the android tablet all those apps and all those files are still open here so when i pull out the cable many of the apps and the files that were open were closed so that obviously is not ideal the upside is many of the apps i use has this feature to save continuously to internal storage and to the cloud so i don't remember a single incident where i actually lost the work that i'm working on so that's the good thing all right before you go let me know in the comment section below whether you use samsung dex and whether you find this feature useful and how do you use it what's your workflow i would love to hear from you all right i hope this video is useful thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye